Hello. This video will show the new 10.2 Tokyo RAD server multi tenancy support. As we see on this slide, with multi tenancy support, a single RAD server instance with a single RAD server database connection can now support multiple isolated tenants or customers. And each tenant has a unique set of RAD server resources, including users, groups, installations, edge modules, and other data. And a RAD server tenant administrator can create new tenants, edit existing tenants, add, edit, or delete details of your tenants, specify if the tenant is active, and delete the tenants you no longer need. Adding multi tenancy support to your RAD server is very easy. Simply install the latest version of the EMS Enterprise Mobility Server from 10.2 Tokyo and then open the emsserver.ini file that gets created and you will find it at the default location of C users public public documents Embarcadero EMS and then search for the section called server.tenants and here you will uncomment the line multi tenant mode equals 1 and now you have your rad server ems server configured for multi tenancy support now let's look at a sample application from 10.2 tokyo that demonstrates multi tenancy support in rad server so here we are looking at a multi tenant application that has both a multi tenant sample ems package and a multi tenant sample client application so this sample application demonstrates RAD server's multi-tenancy support. So remember that RAD server is a turnkey application foundation for rapidly building and deploying services-based applications. RAD server enables developers to quickly build new application backends or migrate existing Delphi or C++ client server business logic to a modern services-based architecture that is open stateless secure and scalable and a single rad server instance with a single rad server database connection can support multiple isolated tenants this application uses a chain of toy stores to highlight rad servers multi tenancy support where each store with its employees and goods is a tenant implementation this application demonstrates a retail store deployment use case. Each store with its employees and goods is a tenant implementation. Looking at the EMS package, we see that on initialization, the EMS package runs scripts that create the template data for your tenants. The EMS package includes two resources. One resource name is settings and the settings resource provides the get method this method returns the list of stores of the toy store chain the settings resource does not require you to provide tenant ID and tenant secret from the EMS client because it has the allow anonymous tenant attribute which skips the tenant validation step the store data module has our second resource name called items and this items resource manages the store items. This, this resource defines both the get and the post methods. The store items are filtered by the tenant ID that you provide. We use the get data method to filter the data by tenants accessing the tenant ID through the acontent.tenant.id. If we now run our EMS package to start our EMS server we see that our multi tenant sample EMS package gets loaded and our two resource items items and settings get registered so items has an endpoints of get and post and the resource name settings as an endpoint of store. Now we can open up a browser and test that these endpoints are working. So if I open a browser, so by default, it will call our EMS version again endpoint, which returns this JSON object name value pair 
of name version, value 3.0, name server, and value Embarcadero EMS. So now we can call the settings endpoint. And here, this executes the get method that returns a list of stores of the toy store chain. So that works fine. And we can do the same for the items resource. Pass it in a tenant ID. And this also executes the get method of the items resource. And it returns for us the store items that are filtered by the tenant ID that we provided. So this also works fine. RAD server also includes a built-in secure data store. The data store is part of the services built-in and is accessible by the RAD server's APIs. Under the hood, the technology is powered by Embarcadero's Interbase database. Interbase is a high-end, high-quality, strong encryption secure data store. With this secure data store, RAD server gives us user directory and group management. The RAD server manages user authentication and authorization and with multi-tenancy support, a single instance of RAD server can support multiple tenants or customers. Multi-tenancy adds a new table called tenants. Here we see two tenants added to our RAD server. The unique tenant ID is used to assure that each tenant, store, or customer is not aware of anyone else using the same application. They only see their own tenant data. The EMS groups, a feature of RAD server, defines access rights for what group the employee belongs to. In this case, either a manager or a cashier. So for example, a manager can view, add, and delete the store items and edit the details, but the cashiers can only view the item's details. Now let's run the client application and see how this is implemented. Here we see a single RAD server instance with a single RAD server database connection that can support multiple isolated tenants. This demo uses a chain of toy stores to highlight RAD server's multi-tenancy support where each store with its employees and goods is a tenant implementation. This sample application demonstrates a retail store deployment use case. Each store with its employees and goods is a tenant implementation. So when we run our client application, the first screen we see is a store login page where we can either select the downtown toy store or the midtown toy store. So I'll select the downtown toy store and enter their password. Next, we are given the employee login screen. And recall, employees are grouped in one of two categories, either a manager or a cashier. So here, I will sign in as John with my password. And so I signed in as John and John as a manager and as a and being in the manager group John is able to add new store items, delete delete items and edit the details of existing items while the cashiers can only view the information about existing goods. So neither employee can see the information about the other stores in the chain. And if I was to log in as a cashier, Sam, we could see because Sam is in the group cashiers, cashiers can only view the information about the existing goods. They cannot add new items, a cashier cannot delete them, and a cashier cannot edit the details of existing items. That's reserved for employees in the manager group. And as we see here, every request that we send to the RAD server is logged. 
So this was a quick overview of the new 10.2 Tokyo RAD server multi-tenancy support. So as we saw, a single RAD server instance with a single RAD server database connection can now support multiple isolated tenants or customers. And each tenant has a unique set of RAD server resources, including users, groups, installations, edge modules, and other data. And the RAD server tenant administrator can create new tenants, edit existing tenants, add, edit, or delete details of your tenants, and specify if the tenant is active, and delete the tenants you no longer need. 